everyone and welcome to my channel lilies and blush my name is suzanne and thank you for joining me for today's video which is the bookish box um march 2023 adult box so um they are still a bit backed up um so this is the march the april is supposed to be shipping soon and then i still have may and june so i canceled my subscription back in june when i quit my job um so after june i won't have any really boxes but i think i still have some pre-orders through them that i'm waiting on like a couple of pre-orders so i'll still have a few things and then hopefully maybe by the time i get the june box um i will be resubscribed because i hopefully will have a job again um so yeah um so let's dive into it i'm super excited to finally have my hands on this one um so let's dive into the little booklet that always comes with them and they do have um i think two new fulfillment companies so fulfillment is supposed to go a lot faster now and also um the way they do the fulfillment i mean the the way everything is now is so much nicer than it used to be honestly like it comes in a smaller box um the way they bubble wrap the books instead of doing those green sleeves um really prevents them from getting damaged um and then like all the items the booklets everything just is amazing i really really enjoy them so um and the way that everything is presented in the box but so i don't get the young adult box so we're gonna go ahead and skip through that one but definitely always have some good items so if they ever release a like items only um subscription i would totally jump on that and then just do the adult book only and then do the items or do the adult box items and book and then do the young adult items only like or if they did something along those lines that would be amazing um but for now just the young adult books just aren't to my taste generally so i just kind of a a waste to get them when someone else who might really really want it gets that spot instead um okay so for the adult box the theme for this month um for the month of march wise shadows spice and everything nice uh really like that and the feature title is blood orange by karina hale and i'll go through the book um after i do the items so first for the items we have the dagger letter opener package inside this velvet pouch is a six inch dagger letter opener that is as beautiful as it is practical inspired by the black dagger brotherhood series by jr ward and designed by at the bitter season retail value is 17 dollars so we'll go ahead and i think this is it so i'll have to keep this at my desk i've always wanted a letter opener <laughs> and so that's awesome and this pouch is so soft and beautiful so i don't know if you guys can see that super well but it says dagger letter opener black dagger brotherhood by jr ward and then bookish box and then the artist's name on it so they'll even the little pouch to hold it but i'll probably put this in like my um just put it in my pin holder my smaller one um but it's got a nice little so you could even like hang it that's kind of cool i like that like hanging on a little hook or something um but it's just like a little black dagger with some gray white detail red gem there and then it says bdb so black dagger brotherhood and it doesn't feel super sharp so i don't really know anything about letter openers but it doesn't feel like a knife or anything so like i wouldn't be worried about my son 
you know, getting a hold of this or anything. Well, maybe still because he might try stabbing things with it, but it's not like if he were to grab this wrong, he would get cut. Or if I were to grab it wrong, because I am clumsy too. So, um, yeah. But I like it. It's really cute. Really unique thing that I do not have currently. Because I have, like, decorative daggers from them. And, um, and then I have sword bookmarks. But they're not, like, again, sharp. They're just little, like... Uh, metalwork ones so that was the dagger letter opener and then we have the catch-all tray presenting to you a tiny portal into the abyss that holds a special message bend the rules that govern life and death inspired by shadow of night by deborah harkness this catch-all tray was designed by at katja.perez retail value is twenty dollars i'm that's not new. Yeah, that's a magnet. Catch all tray. That's a book sleeve. Catch all tray. Okay. Here we go. So this was the packaging it came in. Yeah, so Ketcha dot Perez and then Shadow of Night inspired catch all tray. Um bend the rules that govern life and death. I don't know that I know what a catch all tray is, but oh it looks like I think I've seen these before. But I again I don't know that I know what this would be used for exactly so i'll definitely be doing some googling see how i could use this but i like the i like this this is super cute even just to for a decorative thing that you could put out I'm wondering, is it like something you could put at your like front door? Um, but I like that. I like the quote too. And the stars are just beautiful. I love anything with stars. So um, this is gorgeous. And I love the gold buttons, the snap. Like that was pretty easy to put together. Um, and then obviously like you can take it apart, roll it up. Like it's easy to store if you need to store it or take it on the go. Um, but I will definitely be looking up ways to use this, but I like that. That's really cool. Okay. And then we have the fabric dust jacket. How bloody gorgeous is this fabric dust jacket? We love how it matches our featured title. So this is actually based on Blood Orange, which is the book that we got in this, in this one. So Blood Orange book sleeve. Um... Inspired by Blood Orange by Karina Hale and designed by at Forensics and Flowers. Retail value is $22. So this is... Oh, I like this. This is... Okay, see, this is what I needed. Because, like, books... The other, like, book sleeves I've always had were, like, the pouches, you know, like you put the book in to store it, to like protect it in your, you know, bag or whatever. But like this is perfect because I can take the fancy dust covers off and not destroy them and not get them ruined and then still protect the actual book itself with this or possibly even fit this maybe with the dust covers too, possibly. But it also comes with a bookmark and there's um so this sleeve that you slide the edge into on this side and on this side there's a little strap to keep it in place like and then again the bookmark this is so cool i absolutely love this it's making me want to go on etsy and see if i can find more like this to use on my books but like this is so awesome. I will definitely try it out on the book with the book here in a moment. 
for sure. Okay, and then to, um, so yeah, so that was retail value $22. And then we have the enamel magnet, which is freaking epic. Uh, we're starstruck by this stunning enamel magnet featuring one of our favorite quotes from Emily McIntyre's novel, Scarred. Meet me where you kiss the stars. Designed by the talented at De Sosa design dot design retail value fifteen dollars. I um I love those books. I've read all of them, so I absolutely love having a magnet that I keep thinking that I feel like I said that really loud. Sorry if that came across the audio, but um <laughs> I keep thinking that I've lost my nail, specifically this one, and I did it at the beginning too because it like blends in and then this just looks like my plain nail. So then I keep freaking myself out thinking I've lost a nail when I haven't. It's still there, um, just blending in with things. So, so I keep like kind of stuttering sometimes. I'm like, wait, where did my nail go? I know it's still there. Crazy woman. All right. <laughs> So, if I can peel this off, there we go. Um, yeah, so it's just the scarred inspired enamel magnet. Little throne, I think. Meet me where you kiss the stars. I love that a lot. It's beautiful. And I think Scarred was probably one of my favorite ones. So yeah, I like it. I'm excited about it. Okay, and then we have the Pocket Book Bay. Introducing the third book bay in our 2023 Pocket Book Bay collection is Castile from Jennifer L. Armentrout's Blood and Ash series. Don't kill me, I still haven't read that series yet. I really plan to. These collectible pocket book bays are perfect for display or to be used as bookmarks. Designed by at Fern Fernanda Maya, Fernanda Maya, Maya. Retail value is ten dollars. So I loved my other ones that I've gotten as well. So that's the artist name and the little like sheet and then this is the bookmark on its own without the backing or anything so it's got that like oh my gosh what i always forget what this type of material is called but it's like that plasticky kind of material and then um kind of got that like shadowy see-through vibe here we go that looks better with the with the white background you can really see that is a beautiful artwork. I absolutely love it. Those, that's amazing. Just absolutely amazing. And from either side, like you get like the flipped view of him. That's just absolutely so cool. Absolutely love that. It'll look beautiful inside a book. Um, but yeah, very excited about that one. I'm going to try to keep you safe in there okay so i do not get the shirt um i just get the items and the book but this month's tea reminds us to look to the stars whenever we're feeling lost may the stars guide us through the night Haley turner the prince's poisoned vow designed by the creative at brandon the designer retail value was 29 to 32 dollars depending on size um and then we have the um behind the box which actually awesomely enough ideally inspired reviews stephanie i follow her on instagram she's amazing and she posts hilarious tiktoks um or like you know repost them and then um she is the creator behind the adult bookish box shadow spice and everything nice uh, I picked Blood Orange for this month's box because ever since Karina Hale said her inspiration for Dracula was Aiden Turner, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So Aiden Turner is Captain Ross, Poldark, in BBC show Poldark. I have not watched it, but I need to, I feel like. 
The seamless way the author was able to spin a classic tale, Dracula, into a gothic yet contemporary setting amazed me. Vampires can be so overdone, but Karina Hale still found a way to make it addictive and fresh and spicy. Uh, my favorite item in this month's box has to be the fabric dust jacket. Same. I've been so eager to include a fabric dust jacket in a box and I couldn't miss an opportunity to feature this awesome illustration and pattern inspired by Blood Orange. And then we have a little April sneak peek word search um, that I'll go through later. And then, and that's for both um, adult and young adults little sneak peek and then you have the March monthly playlist on Spotify so you can scan that little code to go right to it and listen which is so cool and then like something really great to listen to while you read if you like to listen to music while you read sometimes I do um and then welcome to the center for emotional support book buddies um and then it features different people's um little pups and or and cats little book bunnies um and different things about different books that people have been reading and then just the links to go to book a shop but yeah i love it as always just a good one but we're gonna go back like i always do forget the book <laughs> itself um but we'll go back here and we will go through the book itself so here she is wrapped in her bubble wrap protecting so my heart will always find yours uh delilah delia dahlia dahlia abernathy has only known revenge when her parents were killed at an early age by vampires dahlia spent the rest of her life under the thumb of the witches guild being trained to kill them. Her latest mission sends her un undercover to a prestigious music academy in Venice, Italy. Her goal? To kill Professor Valtu Amanoff, her teacher, and the notorious vampire who inspired Bram Stoker's Dracula. But getting close to a dangerous vampire like Professor Amanoff is one thing. Falling for him is another. With Dahlia's appearance disguised under a glamour spell, Baltu has no idea that the woman who has become his new dark obsession is actually the reincarnation of the woman he loved and lost twice before. And Dahlia doesn't remember that the very man she has been sent to kill is the love of her life. Will their love come through and transcend time once again? Or are the fated lovers destined to let history repeat itself? Retail value is $38. That sounds like an amazing story and actually perfect timing. It's kind of funny that that was a March book um and i'm getting this in september and it's you know coming up on spooky season so vampires is perfect vampires and witches you know like that's where i saw like shadow spice and everything nice and i'm like that's, it's just giving me fall vibes so i am super stoked this will definitely be going in my fall tbr this sounds super cool and just like stephanie said it definitely sounds like a very different kind of telling of the dracula story i like that he's not just dracula that he's just what bram stoker based his dracula on <laughs> um but yeah so very nice and then i'm loving this cover i don't get many like grayscale covers with those pops of color and i absolutely love this like you're getting the beautiful orange foil and then the black and white and gray just it looks amazing okay the back says something a little different than that descriptor we got um once there was a man who fell deeply in love with a woman he could never have. When their affair was uncovered, she was brutally murdered in front of him, and he discovered he was cursed, doomed to live forever as a vampire. Over the centuries, he found his love again and lost her again, until he was so broken he gave up on love entirely, sinking into the depths of depravity, losing his humanity. Then one day, she came back into his life, a student of music studying under him at the conservatory in Venice, Italy, where he was a professor. But even though he found her beautiful and intriguing, he didn't recognize his fated mate at all. Because this time she had to hide her true self. This time she came back as a witch, 
whose destiny wasn't to love him, but to kill him. Oh, I love that description. Like, that just, oh, seals the deal. That just sounds amazing. Um, absolutely love. So we have the amazing, again, that, I always forget what this kind of paper is called, too. But that, you can kind of hear it, I'm sure. Um, little, like, handwritten um, signature on that sheet. Absolutely love it. And then, so I will go ahead and separate that out. Okay, so the hardcover edition with an exclusive overlay page signed by the author features art by at by angle. I don't know if it'll focus and let you guys see that, but... Let's see. Focus. There we go. Um, at by Hangle. And then there is the author's uh, social media as well. So that is amazing. So this hardcover matches the uh, dust cover. But it's all orange foil and white. It's just really beautiful wow the sun just like vanished on me and now i have no lighting um yeah so hopefully i can fix that up in editing for you guys so you can really see this stuff but um then we have the edges have these oranges black with green leaves black background with green leaves love it like that is so beautiful and then oh i'll do that at the end before i go and then you have the signature sheet which i'm going to slide back in here so i don't lose it um and then the front desk just jacket is by at forensics and flowers they are the artists that also did the dust jacket the fabric dust jacket for us so that is so cool but I absolutely love that. And then the reverse dust jacket is by at Miss Ugly Pants. Miss Ugly Pants. Miss Ugly Pants. That's an interesting name. <laughs> um, so this is the other one. So it's showing the characters themselves. So that's our main character, female character there. And our Dracula. Uh, inspired Dracula there. I like this a lot. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just like zoning out looking at all the different details. That is really beautiful. Gosh, every time with Bookish Box, I have such a hard time deciding how I'm going to display them. Like, I love the hardcover and the way that looks. I love the way this looks. I love the way the reverse dust tracker looks. Like, how do you display all three at once? You can't. So, it's just always hard decisions. They're making me make. Okay, so the foiled hard case um, is done by at Forensics and Flowers as well. So the inside, okay, so the this is done by at by Hangle. Yeah. Okay, so this this is the by at by Hangle did this one and then the end papers illustration which is again that like orange orange is seen with a black background green leaves and flowers but the oh excuse me the, the uh vampire bite on the orange um that is illustrated by miss ugly pants and then the stencil, stenciled edges I showed you guys already. Those are also by Forensics and Flowers. And there is an exclusive bonus point of view scene. So um, that is really cool too. So we get a little bonus. And then, oh my gosh, these this is amazing. Is this... I'm wondering if this art is also 
by Hangul. Because that's amazing. That's beautiful. I love that. That's the way. That is so cool. And it's really not a very long book either. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. How many pages? What are we looking at? Uh, 338 pages. That's not bad at all. So a good quick read. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so I wanted to try out the dust jacket for you guys. So there in the middle and then here. I'm going to slip this out as well so it doesn't get ruined. Zoom out just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so slipped in there and then we will... Okay, now I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I think I see it goes like this. Oh, and okay, so you can adjust it based on the book. I like, okay, so then it that way it fits, you know, as long as height-wise, you can fit it in here. It'll fit any, well, yeah, so it'll fit any, like, length book, basically. Hmm. That is so nice. And then the bookmark. I love it. And it goes so, it does, it goes so perfectly with the book. And it does a really good job. Like it's much taller than the book. So it does a good job of protecting the edges. And the bookmark still goes out pretty far. Like I like it a lot. I almost do want to try it with the dust jacket on to see if like you could get away or if that would be a little too like still put the the dust jacket at risk. Oh, forgot the bookmark was in there. Okay, so we'll put the dust jacket back on. say you could for sure especially as this kind of like irons out a bit but I might still be a little worried about the edges but definitely they're more protected than they would be just on their own so if you're one who definitely likes to keep the dust cover on because you don't like storing it or whatever like you could definitely still use this I'm now wondering if that person, if that artist um, makes other ones, because honestly, this is amazing. Or if this was just their design. I'm almost wanting to see, okay. It says designed by, not created by. So I would have to look into their social media and see if they actually sell different ones like this but honestly yeah that actually works with the dust jacket on too so then you could keep the dust jacket on and safe as well because I always find that struggle hard of like where to keep my dust jacket like I'll usually keep it on my bookshelf but then sometimes it easily gets you know pushed around or falls out or falls off like strong you know fan going or something like that or have my windows open like you know I'm worried about 
it's still getting potentially damaged when it's not just sitting on the shelf, but this keeps them together and both pretty protected. Like I can feel here the edge of the dust cover, but it's still well protected. I feel like it's not gonna get damaged. I don't really toss my books around either. I really don't take them outside of my house most of the time. So yeah, I think this would work perfectly for me. Um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Ugh. Okay, so that is Blood Orange by Karina Hale and the March bookish box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.